Hello guys, this is Mike on Nitro Speed. Hope everyone's done well tonight. <clears throat> Happy Memorial Weekend. Um, had to work late. And uh, not tomorrow off, so I'm going to definitely watch NASCAR and Indy 500. Plus the hockey game, so I got a lot going on tomorrow. I'm gonna be glued to that TV right from early in the morning till late at night. So I gotta work Monday, which I'll get time and a half for the holiday. So I only work four hours, but I'll take it. Anyway, guys, we're starting off with the 300ZX. This one has a great looking casting. Looks great. Love the color blue. And uh, I think I got some like 10 castings or something like that to show tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Got some really, really good castings. Some of you may like them, some not, so, uh, let's go ahead, go on to the next one, 2019 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, yep, and these are all been polished, so, like I said, I always polish them before the video, nobody wants to see a dirty car, unless you're doing a scientific dirt test, <laughs> Anyway, guys, that stuff's really working great on the cars, especially when they're really filthy and it really makes this stuff, this stuff really makes the car shine. Very pleased, very pleased. I know I talk about it, but that's okay. The car looks really, really nice. Okay, one more time around, the passenger side. Now we'll go to the next one. That's the yeah, we'll that one. <clears throat> All right. It's going to be the second one. Two down, eight to go. No fines because I had to work late and I don't have the money right now. Next one is the Pandem Subaru. Oh, there we go. Yes, I don't like the rubber wings because look how awkward it looks. They need to put the hard, the uh, hard plastic or you know metal. It would, you know, not bend like that, so it just makes the car look hideous. But the car itself is a great looking casting. It would probably look a lot better without that stupid wing on it anyway. Alright, next side guys, I'm going to go to the fourth one. was the Honda Civic EF in white. Yeah, this one looks really nice as well. I love this body style. Two door and it's really a sweet looking casting. Really a beautiful looking car. Love these uh, whole, whole uh, Honda Civics. Got 
got six more to go after this one. I'm trying to decide which one I want to go because I know some really good castings. Okay, I know what I'll go with next. Okay, uh, next one. Next one, Honda. I think it's a S2000. Yeah, S2000. This one is the Fast and Furious. I don't care if it's pink, it still looks good. That thing was pretty dusty too, but you couldn't really tell because of the light color. Dust really shows on dark colors, of course. The dust casting is really nice. Of course, not my favorite Honda. I love the Civics. But I wanted to bring this one out. It's really clean now. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the next side after this. Go to the passenger side and we'll go to the next one. I got five left. Got some really nice castings coming up. Really nice. Because the way the polish comes out, I'm going to decide which one is tough because they have the last three are really good. Lamborghini Myra, and this is a 1968 from Matchbox, and this is my favorite Lamborghini of my collection, because I love this body style. Really nice, but no tampa work in the back, but the front it does. Great looking casting. I love the color. Uh, this one looks really good. Like I said, I polished them all. It took me about 20 minutes, but got them all done and they were all really filthy. Okay guys, next time we'll go to the last four. This next one's really nice, also from Matchbox. All right, the next one. It's also from Matchbox, it's the Porsche Cayman. This one's got a lot of really nice tempo work on it. All the way around is uh, pink or uh, pink uh, pearl white and it's uh, all nice casting these are my favorite away from the muscle cars and American cars Porsche is my favorite then the v-dub and the Ferraris I love these Porsches I think I have about 40 something in my collection. Yeah, this one looks really nice. This one surely stands out and since I waxed it or detailed it, I should say. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, next one. We've got three left. All right, guys, we're already on nine minutes. I don't want to make it too, too long. I'm going to go with this one. A 69 Nissan Skyline fan. It's hard to choose because I got two other ones that are really nice as well. These all look so, so good now, since I've cleaned these up. So every night I'll be able to clean 10 of them. And won't be as dusty like they were before, but they'll still get dust on them. 
this this one's really nice. Um, I've always wondered why they call these vans when they look more like a wagon. They're definitely not an SUV, too small. This casting is absolutely gorgeous. Glad I had this one. And I know uh, David Beeson, just like me, we love this car. What, definitely one of my favorites in my collection, one of them. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. The color and how it's lowered. Very nice tamp work front and back. All right, guys. Let's go to the passenger side or driver side and we'll go to the next one. We have two left. Okay, guys. Next one. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. 60s Ford Econoline Pickup. Yeah, this one's absolutely beautiful. Sure shines good. Clean the heck out of the bed too, but it's hard to get those creases. I have to use Q-tip to get to it. Or even a uh, paintbrush, small paintbrush. This one's a great looking truck. I remember these very well. The engine's right underneath the, uh, in between the drivers and the passenger. That's where the engine is. Yeah, this one's absolutely gorgeous. Okay guys, next side, we'll go to the next one. I love the white walls on this. one and last one for the night. This is a Datsun 510 wagon. Glad I have this one. This just absolutely gorgeous. Look how that one came out after I polished it. Really, really made the color stand out. Real nice detail on this. Something you'd see it definitely at a car show. This right here is absolutely gorgeous. Glad I have this in my collection. That's kind of why I made this one last because the uh, detail really made this uh, color really pop. All right, guys, I'm already on 13 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and please subscribe. You guys have a good night, good to each other, be well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike from Nitro Speed. I'm out of here. See ya.